Well, hello, everybody. My name is Ashley Floyd, and I am an engineer with the Department of the Navy. And uh, people call me rock star Ashley, but here's the thing. I found an another, another amazing rock star to bring to you guys today for this wonderful initiative. And I'd like to introduce my rock star, Katie, to tell her a little bit about herself. So, like, Katie, tell me, where do you work? You know, like, what, what, what are you into these days? Hi, everyone. So my name is Katie Pfeiffer, and I am a current student at Indiana University, Purdue University, Indianapolis, in the Purdue School of Engineering and Technology. I'm studying electrical engineering. So I just completed my bachelor's in May 2020, and I'm doing the five-year program, which is four years for your bachelor's plus one year for your master's. And so I'll be finishing that up in May 2021. And I am currently employed as a SMART Scholar at Naval Surface Warfare Center, Crane. A SMART Scholar? So wait a minute, tell me about this. Like, how did you become a SMART Scholar? How did you find out about that? So what's really cool is that the Office of Student Services in my school um, sent out a mass email to all the students, basically advertising a bunch of scholarship opportunities that were available to us. And so the SMART scholarship was one of them. And I had never heard about it because um, I was working for Crane as an SSEP intern. So that's a paid internship. Oh. And um, so when I saw the SMART scholarship opportunity, I thought it was a great way to kind of um, maybe get some scholarship money to work, continue to work for the government, to continue to work for Crane. And you get to choose three sponsoring facilities that you're interested in. So it's any of the bases on uh, in the U.S. And so what I did was I applied for um, NSWC Crane since that was where I had my internship program and then a couple of other places that I was also interested in. And so then after I applied, I got the scholarship and you get a monthly stipend um, for housing and you get a um, stipend at the beginning of the school year for healthcare, a stipend for textbooks. And then you also get um, your tuition paid for. So it was a really great Whoa. opportunity, yeah. So wait a minute, so wait, they pay you to go to school, they pay you for school, they help you with your books, and then you get a job after it? Yeah, all of that. Whoa, like, wait a minute. So do I have to be like a high school student to do this or can I start in, in college? Like, when can I apply? So you have to be admitted to a college and typically they'll give it to you after one year of college. And so you can apply while you're in college. I actually applied my sophomore year and I didn't get it. Um, and then I applied again and I got it. And so I paid for my junior year, my senior year and my master's degree. Wow, perseverance is key. Cause like you said, like you didn't get it the first time. So you, you could have stopped. It's like, you know, I'm not gonna get this but you did it and then you got it. Yes, correct. Did you wanna be an engineer when you grew up? I actually did not. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I knew I wanted to do something um, STEM related um, and what really kind of made me choose electrical engineering um, which is also what my dad does. Um, so that's kind of funny. Uh, but I was in high school and my mom's a microbiologist. And so my I had this big STEM background um, growing up and they taught me a lot about their careers and everything. And so I when I took my first biology class, I absolutely hated it. I didn't like it. Um, didn't like it, huh? <laughs> yeah, no. So I knew that um, my mom was going to be really disappointed when I told her I didn't want to do anything in the biology field. Um, and but then when I got into my physics class, I really, really liked it. And what was cool about it was I like the circuits part, but I did not really care for the mechanical engineering stuff. So like your free body diagrams, oh. um, that's that did not really um, that was not my forte. And so then I took a programming elective in high school and that really helped me narrow it down to either computer engineering or electrical engineering, um, that kind of area. And then I chose electrical engineering because it had a good mix of both. Okay, so that, wow, you have an amazing, crazy journey to get you to where you're at. Like, what do you actually do for Crane? Like, you know, of course, like, you know, the stuff that you can tell everybody. <laughs> 
So some of the cool things that I've been able to do is I was in, in an advanced research group. And so for that research group, I was able to um, help with some programming, help with some technical work. So they had me do some like soldering and wiring. Um, and then I also was able to help write some technical documents and make some hardware diagrams. Um, and so it was really cool. And then one of my favorite experiences was being a part of the Rapid Innovation Prototype Lab. And so what that was, was it was a two week program where I got to um, learn how to do basic construction skills, basic electrical wiring skills. Um, they taught us how to weld. We got to use a laser cutter. Um, they taught us 3D printing and sewing and machining. So it was really cool. It was a two week program and I really liked it. Wow. So, so it pretty much like, what did you, like you guys had to make something really fast. You learned a lot of techniques in two weeks. Like you probably was in the labs all the time, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We were in the labs um, for eight hours for two weeks. And what was really cool is they had it kind of split up. So for one day we'd do one thing and then two days we'd do welding and then two days we'd do sewing. Um, and so it was really fast learning, but we had some really great teachers um, that were helping us along the way. That is so cool. So, so about this, uh, the SMART scholarship. So do you, do you have any ideas of like what you want to do like after you graduate? Yeah. So after I graduate, um, I'm going to start working in a newer group on base that deals with some really intense research, some new and upcoming things. And so I'm excited to start maybe helping lead a project when I start. What are some other things you do outside of work like that's exciting? So outside of work, um, I was a part of the Society of Women Engineers for um, all throughout my college experience and my junior and senior years of my undergraduate degree. I was the president for society for the Society of Women Engineers at my school's chapter. And so some of the really cool things that we got to do was um, reach out with some fifth and sixth grade girls and we would have a whole day dedicated to teaching them about engineering and technology. And so we would do really fun activities with them. And so it was really cool to be able to teach the younger generations about that. Um, and then our chapter also did some really fun things where we just get together and hang out um, with some you know, fellow female engineers because you know, sometimes you don't see all those females in your classes, especially with like electrical engineering. So it's really fun just to get together with other girls and hang out, talk about your classes, talk about, you know, just fun stuff. Um, but then we also had some professional events, which were really great, where we have um, industry leaders come in and talk to us about what they do in their positions and how to deal with all kinds of different workplace issues or just give us advice and so make and grow our network. So it was just a really great opportunity to meet others and find mentors. So what would you write in a letter to yourself at five at fifth grade? Probably what I'd write is to always believe in yourself and to always put forth all your 100% best effort. Um, because I know that sometimes it is hard, you know, going in and not being the brightest or the smartest or have things come to you as naturally as it does for others. And so I would definitely say, you know, put your best foot forward, don't give up, persevere, uh, work your hardest, and you can get through anything. How has the SMART scholarship and the SSEP gotten you to where you're at? The SMART Scholarship and the SSEP program have definitely really changed my life. Um, it has opened my eyes to just all of the possibilities that engineering has for me, that I'm, engineering is not just one small box that I'm contained to, um, especially with electrical engineering, because I was very um, naive when I first started and I thought electrical engin engineering was just circuitry, but it's really so much more than that. It's you know signal processing and artificial intelligence and all these cool things Things you hear about all the time. Um, and it's also, you know, the other side is, you know, project management and the business side and just bringing it all together. And so what I think is really cool about engineering is that there's so much you can do with it. And if I wouldn't have had these opportunities with SSEP, the internship program and SMART, I would not have been able to see all of that and just see all of the great things that you can do with an engineering degree. So engineer does business too? Like that's a thing? Yeah, so I actually didn't realize that either, but um, when you get into the project management side, um, you have to kind of go meet with your clients and 
talk to what talk to them about what they want and budgeting and all your your five year plan, your 10 year plan, all that good stuff. So definitely all kinds of stuff you can do with an engineering degree. Wow. Wow. So this is, you know, this makes me love engineering that much better. You know, like the physics, the, the chemistry, the electrical, like it's so many different uh, components and facets. Like, you know, I, I appreciate you for taking the time to come talk with us today and share your experiences. So now that makes me want to say like, yeah, I need to go brush up on my business skills for sure. <laughs> thank you, Ashley. It's been a pleasure and great to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. And thank you.